20 miles south of the glitz and glamour of the Las Vegas Strip, there is one of the most inhospitable regions on the planet, the Mojave Desert. Since 1968, this unforgiving and punishing landscape has served as the race course for the most challenging off-road race in North America. This is the ultimate test of man and machine. This is the Mint 400. you all to Las Vegas and to the Mint 400 Desert Race. This is the largest and the richest race on the off-road racing circuit, and we have a crowd for you today. Over 439 cars and drivers are entered here at the mid-race from the U.S., from Canada, Mexico, Japan, and Europe. It's four laps around, 400 miles on one of the roughest, toughest off-road race courses with over $120,000 in prize money.
Coming into contingency row, I see two members of the BF Goodrich Performance Racing Team. Goodrich is well represented here today at the Mint 400. Car number 235, that's car number 235, a Chevy Blazer, driven by Frank Scoop Vessels of Los Alamitos. Right behind him, car number 247, number 247. This is the sister Blazer to Scoop Vessels' car. The driver is Bobby Gordon, and his co-driver is Gary Pace. Oh, here we go. A couple of drivers. What a feather for good luck. A feather for good luck. This is a feather for good luck. What do you think? Is that guaranteed to finish? Yeah. How come you got more feathers than the rest of us? I like him better. Oh, what is this? Hey. Yeah, give me a big one. I feel yeah, I'd like a big one. Feel left out. You're gonna, okay. I think mine's bigger than yours is. My name is Gary Pace, manager of performance tire sales for BF Goodrich. The Mint race is a very important race to the BFG performance team, and strategy and coordination are essential in a winning team. Okay, the reason we got everybody together this morning, we want to go over where the tractors and trailers are going to be for pit support and fueling and make sure that everybody's, there's no confusion, so two guys or three guys don't come roaring in at the same time to take fuel, and everybody jumps on one truck, so we make sure everybody's divided up. The Mint race is a major effort, and you know, we've brought both of our blazers out, as well as the entire performance team. Inside okay? Yeah. Very good. Front in. How about some headlights? Good luck. Starting positions were extremely poor. The Mint race is the only race where it's luck of the draw. And starting 235 and 247 meant there was 234 cars in front of Scoop, and there was 246 cars in front of us. So the dust was terrible when we started. And really, even though our cars are more powerful and have a higher top end and more speed to them, you can only go as fast as you can see. So a lot of times, the slower buggies, even though they were, you know, if we put the two of them together and went out and run, we'd be much faster. In the dust, we couldn't run any faster because we couldn't see any further than they could see. Well, from 20 minutes into the race, we started having problems. We started having brake problems. So without brakes, trying to play catch up, it was tremendously dangerous. At times, we couldn't even see the dash in the car. And it's mainly because of the silt. And silt is a, something similar to talcum powder, is the easiest way to describe it. And when you hit it, it kind of just explodes and immerses you in the center of it. And you can't see a thing until the dust completely settles.
it's a very demanding race, uh, not only on the vehicle, the tires, suspensions, and all of those elements, but on the human body itself. Uh, you can only take so much, the vehicle can only take so much, and you're running at that limit the whole time. coordination is essential in any racing program and races can be won or lost in the pits. We've selected one of the best pit coordinators in the business, which is Bobby Spears. If you can get your guys when they come in just to take their time, they're going to do a lot. If you take your time, yeah, and when you're doing your fueling, just you're going to go faster. It sounds funny, but you're going to go faster if you take your time and go smooth. Blazer 2. We are on the power line road, so we need gas and a real quick set off. Get it on in here. We got fuel ready and everything to go. came into the pits, as we know, the race has been so dusty that the engine was starting to run a little rough. And that's mainly because our air sock over the air cleaner was clogged. So we had another one ready. They put a new air sock on there and gassed us up. And it was a, a good, clean, quick pit stop in, in relation to all the problems we had. It seemed like we were just there for seconds.
guess what they're saying. What? We gotta hook it then. Come on, let's go. That's exactly right. We're, We're okay. You running fifth? We're on a five minute behind. Let's go. If it's okay, let's let her go. Is Dick out? Give me the hand. Oh, wait, he's doing something. Let her go. No, 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 no. You're going through it. Okay, you don't hear me when that radio goes on. Sometimes we have. How's Scoop running? Scoop running real good. Scoop running good. Scoop running good. Scoop running good. We've been running clean, and all of a sudden, the tranny started to heat up. Yeah, well, the tranny started to run 2.30 now. And the car wasn't handling exactly right. So in our unscheduled pit stop at the main pit, we found our sway bar was loose, and we also found we were low on transmission fluid. By this time, the pit crews were weary. We had scheduled pit stops at one every other lap, and because we were plagued with problems, brake, overheating transmission throughout the day, we had to stop every lap, which really wears out your pit crew when they're trying to get you in and get you out as fast as possible. This is also very hard on the driver, Bobby Gordon, because he's constantly playing catch-up. hours and hours in the car and running with the lights on and uh, Bobby and I trying to conquer the dust, the lights, the nightfall and all the other problems. At this point when we topped the top of the hill and saw the lights of Vegas, all we could really think of was just getting across the finish line and, and getting a rest. Thank you. 
Mint 400 will return to Las Vegas on March 12, 2016. Visit the mint400.com for more details.